from Williamson all night, but in the end, LeBron James and company, just too much. Five minutes left, Lakers up 17, Schroeder misses, but James is out there lonely and knocking it down, and the Lakers just ran away with this one. They win it 112-95, to 21 for each of the star players. Here's James with Joyce Sedona. We're here with LeBron James after a win against the Pelicans. LeBron, a little bit of a slow start tonight, but you guys put the clamps on defensively. Since that Spurs loss, you guys are only giving up 102 points per game. What has been the big difference on defense? Uh, just taking uh, individual accountability. Um, you know, guarding your man first and then relying on help second. And then uh, once, uh, you know, guys broken down because we're in the NBA, great uh, NBA players every night. Um, you know, we have the ability to be able to help one another and, and fly around. So, um, you know, stand in front of your guys, like I said, helping one another, then cleaning the glass defensively. You know, we're about 20% through the season, which sounds crazy. You guys have a whole new group here in a lot of ways, a bunch of different guys. What is your level of comfort and chemistry with this particular group right now through uh, this point of the season? 20% uh, through, like you just said. Uh, I mean, we, we're doing playing some good basketball. You know, we want to continue to learn. Like you said, we got five new guys that's in our rotation. Um, you know, from that wasn't what part of it last year. And, uh, you know, Dennis Domenes, uh, Trez, Big Mark, uh, Wes, and also Taylor. Um, so, you know, implementing our, our guys to our system and uh, continuing to build off that. But uh, we're playing some good basketball right now. We want to continue that. LeBron, your next game is on Monday, which is MLK Day against the Warriors. Obviously a day of rem remembrance, particularly with everything that's going on in the country right now over the last 10 days, heck, even over the last year. What can the NBA do and even people around the country do to magnify Dr. King's message? Well, first of all, happy birthday um, to him. Um, I believe he'll be, he will be 92 uh, years of age today if he was still here. Um, but, you know, what he does, what he do for us uh, every single day, his, his name and his words and his legacy still live on. So he's shining his light on us every day. Um, you know, as NBA players and as our league, we continue to, uh, you know, voice what he was talking about, you know, about uh, equality. Um, you know, all races and all shapes and sizes, all colors coming together for the better of, of, of happiness and, and for the better of love, you know, and uh, continue to push forward. You know, we understand that we are um, going to see hate. Um, hate is, is, is going to be a part of, of, of America, going to be a part of this world. But if we can have, you know, more people that's in the love uh, factor and not in the hate, then, um, you know, we can, we can continue to be better. And it's all about passing it down, passing it forward to the next generation, the generation that comes after you, as he did, as he spoke. And uh, as someone that's a, you know, has a platform like myself, I will continue to, uh, you know, live by a lot of his messages that he had going on back when he was alive. LeBron, congratulations tonight, and thank you so much for always making time for us. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right. All right. Guys, back to you. All right, George, James and Williamson each led their teams with exactly 21 points Friday, which brings their combined total through three meetings to 180 points. Only three pairs of number one picks have scored more over their first three meetings in the common draft era, which states back to 1966. As promised, Paul Pierce is in the house. Good to see you again, my man. Good to see you. How you doing? Good, good. All right, so the Lakers down 15, and then they just went to another gear, ran away with it. How'd they do it? Well, when you have a top-notch defense and you have LeBron in the locker room yeah. at halftime, you're like, guys, we got to take it to another level. I've been on teams once we won a championship. There was no lead we felt like we couldn't come back from. And being that the Lakers are the champs, they're like, look, it's time to turn it up. We took a half off, let, let them get their confidence. But look, we got another gear. We're the champs. And they just press the button. That's what we used to call it. Let's press the button, guys. Let's show them what we're really about because to go from down 15 to up 20 points, yeah. <laughs> the Lakers know what they're doing. Uh, Frank Vogel said early in the season, and, and the players said that they were going to have to kind of work this early in the season. No, no real training camp, no, no real offseason. Uh, they were right back on the court mm -hmm. after the championship run, and they had a lot of new pieces. But now it seems like it, it's all working together. How'd they put it together? Well, the guys are buying in. The new guys, Schroeder. Uh, you know, Morris is back, a veteran who was there last year. Montrez, Harrell. These guys, they want to win a championship. Those right. guys are hungry. And they're just keeping the energy up when they go into their video meetings, when they have, you know, breakfast at the hotel. Those guys are hungry. And it's keeping this team's energy up. So there's not going to be – I don't expect – any Laker hangover because now LeBron's minutes are down. AD's minutes are down. They got this added depth to where they can kind of cruise through the season but still win a lot of games and turn it up once the playoffs come. Yeah, James averaging about 32 minutes uh, per night, which is which is low for him. Yes. Uh, and the Lakers now with five in a row. All right, we're going to talk Mavs Bucks in just a minute. First, Neil with the highlights. Bartender. How about an old Milwaukee? 
Bucks and Giannis Antetokounmpo hosting Dallas and Luka Doncic. There's your stars. Here comes your highlight. First quarter, Dallas down seven. Doncic splitting two defenders. Boy, he's so good. Nice move right there. Splits him with the hesitation. Milwaukee was up seven after one. Let's go to the second quarter. Antetokounmpo. <laughs> Face full of, of Opa for Willie Cauley Stein. Bucks up 10 there. Then Doncic to Wes Awandu in the corner three. Doncic had 10.7 assists in the first half. Anthony Kumbo had 16 in the first half. Milwaukee up seven at the break. Skip the third quarter. Go to the fourth quarter. We got four minutes left to play. The Bucks are up one. Anthony Kumbo pulls up for the three. He was two of five from three. He was one of 10 from the free throw line. Come on, man. Suing Mavs possession, Doncic averaging a triple-double over his last six games. He was a rebound shy of that in this one. Bank open there, and then James Johnson. He doesn't have to call me Johnson.